computer. All right. Um, yeah, because like this class is open source, and I just keep having to make some notes about that to everybody. But um, so yeah, so if you share your screen. Uh, sure. Okay. Oops. Let me close that. Oh, actually, I don't want to leave that meeting. Let's minimize. And so, um, let's start from the from the back from um, the Design Right Studio page. Okay, I need to get to Firefox. Let me pull up Firefox. Studio updog u p d o g dot co. Yeah, I'm waiting for Firefox to launch. For some reason, Firefox always launches slow for me. Yeah, people have, it's, it's, yeah. Take your time, no rush, I got, um, so let me know when you got that page, because I'm like walking around the room. Oh, well, that's why I tried to load twice. Okay, it's connecting, connecting, connecting. Okay, I've got it up and running. There you go. Okay. And um, so you have Firefox, the latest version. Yeah, Firefox is a Nevergreen browser, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it should yeah. already be updated. So the last tab on that front page is Toolkit. Okay, let me minimize that so I can see more of my bar. Toolkit, yep. And you've got Firefox. Yep. So you can move on to Google Drive or Dropbox. Yep, I, um, I downloaded Google Drive app and pointed it to... Um, so let's just check it out. So you got Google Drive, you got, you're signed into your Google Drive in... Um, should be. Yep. Yeah. Oops. No, Google Drive. <laughs> I got a jumpy mouse. I don't know what I'm going to get right now. It could be anything. Uh, so it should be down there in your toolbar or something. What is this? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. And so right click on that, I think. Oh, hang on, I'm in the middle of something here. Yeah. I got too many clicks and now it's not sure what it wants to do. Google Drive. Oh, this is cool. There we go. So, okay, if, so if you go down there on that icon and right click on it. Okay. And, um, and it's already running. And which account is this? Do you think this is your? This is my SUNY IT uh, account. SUNY IT. Okay, perfect. Okay, so then you're set with Google Drive. Yep. And so then yep. go back to the, um, and you keep that open. We'll come back to it. Yeah, I'll just minimize. Oh, I've got two of them open. Okay, I, I just minimized it. And so then you're all set there. And um, oh, and I forgot on Firefox tab, did you set your preferences to ask for the location? For downloaded files? Yeah, I think we set that up uh, last before. semester. Okay. We can just quickly double check. Uh, so that's in save page. Oh, no, that's just when I want to save the page. So it does ask you, so that's good. Yeah, so I've got it set up. Although we didn't demonstrate where that option is, but it's um, the next person will find it, I suppose. Yeah, I think it's in options. Let's see if it's in options. Yeah, it's in options. Yep, and it's right there. 
Yeah. So you always want to ask where to save files. Yep. Okay. So yeah, you're back in tab one and, um, and we've done Google Drive or Dropbox. So now Tiddly Fox, which you've done already, but let's just check to make sure you've got the most recent version. Sure. So I can do that just by clicking on the link and it should actually just tell me. Right? No, but uh, let's see. But let's just add it to Firefox. I don't yeah. think it'll hurt. It'll just overwrite. Yeah, and you can restart Firefox. It'll come right back to where it is. Do you like my art there? <laughs> Your art. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's clever. I liked it. We haven't seen it yet. Have, did you see it work yet? No. No. It's, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. That's a. That's a, an, uh, Um. Should I be clicking on it or? Well, not yet, because it's it's um it's an image. Okay. Let me do it back in uh, Firefox. Now that we've got that open and reinstalled. It's an Easter egg. It's the design right Easter egg. You have to have humor. Oh. <laughs> Uh, where was that on the about page? Uh, you have to click on a design right studio somewhere. The, the actual design right studio, anywhere it's written, it's generally written as a link. Yep. And so it takes you there and it's down there. Ah, okay. I like it. Hey. Yeah, it's um, stretch text. Yeah. Very clever. Anyway, I know the people who wrote the macros below are clever. So anyway, so back to toolkit. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you've done Tiddly Fox and now Updog and Updog is really cool. Right. Updog I have not done yet. I was actually going to try to do it tonight and then I saw a link for the YouTube um, page for this class and I started to watch a video. And then that's when I got your email about this uh, sure, so Zoom like session. A flash mob kind of thing. So if you click on updog.co. Okay. And you want to log in with Google. And so what Updog allows you to do is publishes your own website using Google Drive. I probably want to use my SUNY account, right? Uh, you know, it actually it doesn't matter, but you have unlimited storage with your SUNY account. So I prefer yeah. it if you did. You can always change it. Uh, sure, why not? And we're okay with this. So go ahead and click allow. Yeah, yep. Updog's going to take everything. Okay, so now what we're going to do, and you can watch the video someday, it's actually cool, but you can create a new site. And with Updog, you get one free site. Okay, then I can just give it a name. Give it a name, and I had you and you know, and I had suggested one strategy would be to if you wanted to put yours in the SUNY Poly identity, since it's your SUNY Poly, you could call it SUNY Poly hyphen your set that ID, and that's guaranteed to be, and you might yeah, and that's guaranteed to be unique, and then I'll be able to find it um, by reference if I okay. that ID. So then you click save. Okay, so we don't need to do anything with domain. No, I don't know what that is. That's optional anyway, so okay. <laughs> it's probably cool though. <laughs> okay, and so then you can view your site. Notice that, notice the Dropbox folder there? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dropbox, but it should say Google folder. Yeah, it says Google Drive, Updog, yeah. SUNY Poly, Fry. It's a failure of technical editing. Because they, because they used this screen when they were telling people how to use Dropbox and they missed the correction. See, oh. add site to your, it should say add site to your Google folder. But you actually don't have to do that. But just remember that. Click on view site. And, um, and you get the splash page if it works. Welcome to Updog. That's really cool. Yeah. 
So go back to your um, uh, the the other tab with the the Windows file browser. Not in the, not in the not in Firefox and. Oh, uh, Google Google Drive. Yeah, your Google Drive folder. That. Yep. Okay. Okay. And now notice there's an updog folder. Okay. And click that. Oops. And notice there's a folder with your website name. Okay. Click that. And notice there's a file called index.html. Yep. Which is the file you were just looking at. You can open that. Oh yeah, yep, okay. Look at the URL. Yeah, I see, uh, well, the the uh, Zoom share is kind of blocking. Yeah, so just drag the browser down. There we go. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so it's pointing to Google Drive. On your, on your C drive, on your phone, yeah. on your hard drive. Yep. Okay, that, and then um, that's different. <laughs> okay, so and go to Welcome to Updog, which is over on uh, one of your other tabs where you're serving the same page with the URL. Oh yeah, this one right here, okay. HTTP colon slash slash SUNY poly, same page, exactly the same page. So just remember that. Okay, so we're gonna do this with Tidly Wiki now. So go to um, Design Right, which is tab one. And um, scroll up, and I need a next button there. Um, so anyway, here's a quick lesson. You know how to use Tidly Wiki a little bit, but um, uh, there's a home button, and whenever you're ready to do something to start over in a sense, you go back home. So you click the home button, which is in the upper left, and yeah, so that will always take you to hello there. Um, and I'd like you to click on next steps. And you got all the tools in the toolkit, so you're ready to create your first tiddly wiki. Which you've done, but you're gonna do it this way. This is new. Sure. So you create your first tiddly wiki, and what you're gonna do, and, and basically we're gonna power through this as a tool and not talk about why you're doing any of this. This is just, this is just getting your tools, and questions will come later. Okay. Because um, if you can't open and save files, you can't do anything. So, so click on download empty. And so what download empty does is Downloads a file called empty.html, and now you're going to save it. And so you click OK, and you're, because you set your preferences to ask, it's going to ask where you want to put it. All right. So now I want to browse to uh, Google Drive. Yep. Uh, I think it's way up top. Oh, yep. There it is. Yep. I want to go to the updog. And poly fry bajay. And now don't save it yet. No. Nope. Okay. Close. So rename it because you don't want a file called empty.html. Let's call it my first wiki.html. Okay, and um, you can you're certain you can use hyphens, you can use underlines. Um, I would don't use spaces or punctuation and I would not recommend using capitalization. Okay. Right. When you go to save as type, let's see what your options are there. Save as type. And um, if all you've got is a .html, then save .html. Sometimes in some browsers, you'll see web page complete. That's evil. And so you see web page HTML only, and that's what you want. So that's what this is. Okay. Good. And then you click save. Okay, so now it's downloaded. Now we have to open that file. And so I recommend you do it from the browser with a file open command. Which is, uh, how'd you get that? Uh, control O on uh, Windows. Control O on Windows, Command O, or Apple O, for really old timers on Mac. I believe that's correct. Yep, navigate to Google Drive, um, Updog, and I recommend at this point you can drag that in as a shortcut into your toolbar someday for quick access, but anytime. Um, and it's not the Updog you want, it's the actual, the next one down, right? 
The Sunni Pali one, right? Yeah, exactly. Because you're going to use that all the time. And so open up in the the, uh, the file that you just threw in there. And open up my first wiki. And um, what you should see, and I'm hoping that we're going to see Hippie Talk make an appearance. Anytime you open a file for the first time, Hippie Talk is going to say, hey, do you want to do save Hippie Wiki file saving? And you always want to say, okay. Okay. So now you have opened up Wiki, and let's make sure that you can save it. So let's reset the title to my first wiki, which is right in front of you there. Just type my first wiki. And notice what's happening is your first wiki is also being sent to the title space up there. That's kind of cool. Um, and then that red box is that save button. So hit save. And you should see a saved wiki in the upper right hand corner of that yellow box. Okay, so I have some confidence, but let's test it. Close this tab and reopen it, the file. And you can try it directly from the windows if you'd like. Just make sure you right click open with Firefox until you change your browser or drag it into Firefox. All right. And your say your changes were saved. Okay, so that's really good. So we have one more test to make, and then you will have succeeded for the evening. Um, and so you want to grab your. Um, I can't see if you uh, bring down your browser. Yeah, and on your URL for your wiki, grab the last part of it. My first wiki.html grab and the slash and copy that. Okay. And then long ago and far away in a different browser tab, you have your updog website open. Oh yeah, what did they go? It's right there, that one. Yeah, yep. so go to the that's the that's the local one. Go to the one that's HTTP. Oh, yep. Right there. Yeah, now paste in the URL. At the end of it? Just don't, yeah, don't overwrite it. Paste. And that's the web address of your wiki. And if you hit enter, hold your breath, it should automatically be here. And it looks good. So this is being served on the web. So try editing it. That's fine. Just just change it. Yeah, you can do that. Or just change the title. Hit, hit cancel there. Yeah, just change the name of your wiki to something else. Hit hit X. Yeah, whatever. I'm sorry. Say that again. Yeah, X out of this wiki, out of this tiddler, and change the name of the wiki where you did it before. Yeah, right there. Change it to my second wiki. Okay, and now hit that save button. And what happens is unexpected behavior. Okay, this is like, what are you doing here? This, wait, this doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, this is not what you expected. So why this is happening is because you're trying to save a file that you're serving on HTTP. So hit cancel and you can't do this. So right. You send me that URL for me to evaluate it. I can't change your file. You edit in the file protocol and you view and share with the HTTP. Okay, that makes so, sense. Yeah, so that's what we've got. So the um, only other stuff that I thought we could do, if you had a, one more minute. Sure. Because that was perfect 20 minutes on site. That was really good. That have, this is great. Thanks. So if you go back to the design rights video, which is tab one in some browser far away. Yeah, uh, where did it go? Uh, where did it go? It's probably... Uh, it doesn't matter. You can just open it again. It's... It, 
Yeah, actually, I think I have. Uh, hang on, I think I bookmarked it. Yeah, usually if you just start typing the address, it'll come right up. Okay, what was that? What's the beginning of it again? D E S Design Right. D E S. D is in David. D E like Design Right. Oh, okay. There it is. Oh. But you don't want the GitHub one. You want um, updog.co. I've moved. That's right. Yep, that's it. And that auto redirects to spring. To Where did it go? Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, and so under next steps, the last thing to do is share your wiki. Well, actually, no. Step three is register for the Google group if you haven't done that already. Yep, I already did that. Okay. And then step four is to share your wiki. And um, I forgot to have you co copy and paste the URL. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, so that was back on. Oh, I think it's on the other browser tab I had open. Where did it go? Uh oh. I think I closed it. That's all right. Um, click on my first week. Oh, that's, is that a? Um, that's a local one. Yeah, so you can grab the end part of it and we can build it from there. Grab the end part of the URL. That's got all the pieces you need. Go into the SUNY Poly. You know if you need all the way to the SUNY Poly. Yep, that's what you need. Okay. And so who are you? And you can paste that parts of that URL in and we can fix it up in a second. So paste it there and then go to the beginning and it's HTTP colon slash slash. Actually, S, HTTPS colon. Oops. Oh, <laughs> wrong key. There we go. And then after your name and before that slash, it's a dot updog.co. That's it, and hit submit. Thank you. Excellent. And um, and that's it. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. So now, what does that do for you? That gives you the um, well, you are this video. It gives me. Oh, go back to Design Right Studio. And um, oh, maybe it's on the Share Your Wiki page. On the cl click on share your wiki again. Uh, oh, okay. Um, no, in the in the in the. Oh, in here. Step four, yeah. And at the very top. Oh, that's weird. Huh? Oh, I oh, no, that's weird. Because that's changed a bit on mine. So I guess I haven't updated out the it. anyway uh, there's a list of responses but then i'll share the urls and those are all shared on the design right studio site i thought they were visible now can you click that that's not click on recent click on it's not there no yeah no it's missing that's uh I don't know why my, my updates haven't posted yet. That's very strange. I'll have to go figure that out. So, but there'll be a list of everybody else's. And then um, once I get enough people going up, the next exercise is right there. If you poke around hard enough, you'll find it, but I'll post it and make it visible um, later on tonight or first thing tomorrow. Okay. I just, I try not to overwhelm people, but, um, but if you click on content, I mean, there's a ton of content. So, um, what I would suggest you do is you kind of do the learning tiddly wiki and working with tiddly wiki sections and if you do the pull downs on them, there's a little uh, tiddler to the left of them um, in the contents tab there, right in the contents tab. Yep, there's a little twiddle to the left, right? Yep. Yep. So open that, yeah. And then there's all sorts of stuff there and then working with tiddly wiki and um, well, I'll have you exercise and some explanation of what we're doing, but in some ways, it's, I just want people to explore and think of it as a toolbox that they can use to create things.
And what we're going to do is creating, we're going to design and we're going to write interactive texts. And I've designed an interactive text as one that's written in a tip week. Okay, so for right now, there really isn't much to do beyond what we just did in this uh, demo. Right, not today. Okay. <laughs> I just want to get everybody up and running and because otherwise, what I found is if I can't get people to open and save files, then the whole, you know, semester's lost. So yeah. got to make sure everybody can get that first one up there, and then uh, we'll go from there. And they'll, um, I'll, I'll keep you busy. So should we be looking at um, the Design Right Studio here for updates from you? Everything or? is here. Everything okay. is here. And in, everything's here and in the Google group. Okay, so Blackboard is really just there for what purpose then? None at all. Um, I may um, accept like the final submission, but I think what we'll do is every so often I'll ask you to um, zip your Google Drive that you've created in Updog, zip that and submit it to Blackboard, submit it to Blackboard, it to Blackboard, Blackboard just I see. So it's okay. just like a portfolio. So, it's, you know, so because in a sense, your Google Drive is just like the old GitHub repositories. Right. right. It's going to have everything in it. It's going to have your images, video, it's going to have everything. And it can all be served. And I think this is way easier than GitHub. Yeah, it seems like it's a little more uh, stable. Uh, I don't know if it's more stable. I think GitHub's very stable. I think I just don't know how to use it. So I keep breaking it. <laughs> but, but, um, <laughs> But I find GitHub is just very complicated, and this I think people get. And I like that it's in Google Drive because they can. Sh I don't know. It's just kind of better. So. Yeah. Anyway. So I have one quick question yeah. for you. Where can I find the syllabus? Is there a syllabus on here? Um. Is there their syllabus? Is go up there, sir. Way up at the top under course you close all the close all those, click the home button, that'll reset everything. And then open oh I meant reload. Yeah, just refresh the whole. The reason why I ask is um, I need the syllabus that lists our textbook so I can do a um, uh, so I can get reimbursed for the for the uh, textbook. Oh, okay. So scroll down under course outline. Under the textbook is listed. It's still there's a uh, there's another version of this that I had I produced last night, but it's oh, you know, uh, under activities under reading, I think is where you'll yeah, find. Yeah, I think I did find it. Um, bear with me a second because I thought I saw it and then I couldn't. Yeah, it's the talk. The syllabus died last night. I was almost done with it just before I couldn't finish it. But if you search for reading, oh wait, wait, hang on. I think uh, no. Yeah, welcome to the welcome. <laughs> to, um, yeah, search for reading. Or search for Vandendorp. There it is. Court okay. Okay, I think I can use this. Okay. What I what I'll do is I'll take a screenshot of this. It shows the the course see page. That arrow? See that arrow down there? No, this arrow? No. Um. Here, hit, hit the X next to the reading box so you clear that because we're gonna make a um. Yeah. No, you. No, I'm sorry. You closed the wrong tiddler. Yeah. Go back to the. Yeah. Just hit. Click in there and get that reading tiddler again. Click on reading. And now there's a. There's a down arrow that's the more, that one. Oh, okay. Yep. And do um, export Tiddler as static HTML. Reading.html and save it. Right there. Okay. And then you can open that or send somebody a link to that file. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yep. So it's just that tiddler. Excellent. Yep. But if, it, if you need the full screenshot, that'll work too. Yeah, but as long as this, uh, you know, this has your name here, it's got... Um, there you go. I think this will work. If not, I'll... Uh, 
I'll yeah, get... no, there's, I will put the syllabus up there that is formal and then it will be fine. I just haven't put it up there yet. It's, oh, okay. It's I'll wait for that. I haven't integrated them yet. I forgot about that. Okay, so speaking of the textbook, so I've got it. Um, when should we start reading that, or is that something that you'll... Oh, it, we're going to read it over the course of the semester. Um, there's 40 essays in it, and I'm going to start covering them one a week starting the 1st of February. Oh, okay. So we've got some time. Not one a week. I'm sorry. Five a week. Start five, uh, give or take five a week. And I'll, I've got a schedule in the syllabus. I can't remember exactly what it is, but... Okay. Yeah. No worries. Yeah. It's, it's, and then the other readings will come. You'll, you'll get a reading packet on each cycle. You'll see the syllabus. I'm sorry it's not up there. Yeah. Oh, no worries. Yeah. First time. Okay. All right. Listen, take care, Don. Thank you very much for doing that. Hey, thank you, doctor. Take care. See ya. See you soon. Bye now. Bye.